Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Torquay away in the National League South. Uh, coming off the back of a win on the opening day, Adam, how are you feeling going into this one? No, yeah, it sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, going to Torquay away. Um, you know, growing up a lot with knowing them being a league club, and I'm sure that's where they want to get back to. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's great for Worthing to be um, going to pit our wits against you know, a club of um, you know that prestige and um, yeah, one that we'll really look forward to. It was obviously a big occasion, a bigger club, bigger stadium, more established, as you say, used to be a, a league club. Is that remotely different to preparation for any other team that we've come across already at this level? No, preparation we'll just you know keep it the same and, and do what we always do. Um, you know, the only thing is um, the coach leaves a, a bit earlier. Um, yeah, nice early start for us, but you know, it's like I say, something that we want to become accustomed to. We use you know very close to becoming a National League club and um, you know there's longer journeys in, in Torquay you've got to make so yeah it's um, it's where we want to go to as a club um, so you know we want to become accustomed to it like I say and um, yeah it'd be, be a great test for us um, you know just make no bones about it they've got an unbelievable manager with you know countless years of experience uh, behind him so you know I'm really looking forward to, to that challenge um, as well and you know what squad they have uh, full-time team and you know it'll be a real test for us we know that but um, I'll say one will after the, the good performance on Saturday we'll look forward to. What are you expecting from Torquay um, game plan wise are you expecting to be quite tough to break down quite attacking what do you think their approach will be? Yeah I, I imagine they'll um, you know be keen to um, come after us a little bit and having seen us play um, probably apply quite a bit of high pressure um, so yeah listen we'll We'll be, we'll be uh, ready for it, we'll have no excuses and um, not say a real game that we're looking forward to. Um, you know, I'm sure the fans are looking forward to supporting Worthing at Torquay, uh, uh, like I say a big, big club um, for this kind of level uh, for sure. So yeah, we're no different, we're really looking forward to it. Quite a few of we've making weekends of it as well I think. No yeah definitely, um, yeah I was talking about it myself with uh, my wife as well going down there and making a, a long weekend and um, with the family uh, but unfortunately um, football for the little one has, has come in come into play so uh, yeah it's Teddy's fault we can't uh, go down there for the long weekend but yeah no, it is what it is um, good that I get to travel with the team and um, yeah like I say we'll have no excuses um, come three o'clock on Saturday. To focus on ourselves how's the team looking at the moment and um, how's the squad looking is everyone going to be fit and ready to go for it? Yeah, I think so. No, no, no fresh injuries. We've had Tati back training now Tuesday, so he's going to be his second session tonight. Probably a bit too soon for him um, on Saturday, but a real good positive sign to, to have him back. Um, so he needs a few more sessions under his belt. Um, hoping Jake and Kane will be back training as of next Tuesday, so they'll get a week's training under their belt, and then we'll have some. Um, game time for them too as well so yeah it's all progressing nicely with the, the injuries and um, touch wood I haven't seen um, the physios yet but I'm pretty sure there's nothing fresh to, to report going into Saturday which is a real bonus. And an extra addition to the squad is Liam Vincent coming back on a month line. What's the thinking behind Liam coming back? Um, just you know natural sort of left left sided player, left footed player. Um, Tutty's obviously um, coming back from um, injury, so he's going to be a little while yet. Uh, Ruben's had a slight problem with his hip flexor, um, so he's not been able to train fully in, in pre-season. Um, so I just think, you know, whilst them two are sort of coming back as such, um, it just gives us a, a bit of natural balance on that left-hand side, just just for a month. Um, I'm hoping by then. Um, Ruben will definitely be over his hip flexor problem and, and Tati will be fully back as well. So, you know, obviously if it, it goes well and there's a possibility to extend it, then we'll be stupid not to look at it. But um, yeah, that's the sort of reasoning behind it. You can play a variety of positions for us. Um, if we play a back four, you can play left back. Um, you can play, he's even played right wing for us and, and scored um, a goal at Eastport Borough playing there. You know, left wing, so he's, he can play in a variety of positions for us. Um, so, yeah, I think adds a, adds a bit of quality and um, just gives us an extra number um, uh, to the group, which we need at this, this sort of stage. There's a lot of quality on the flanks as well, with a lot of versatility with down that side, Nicky Wheeler being on that left, even on the opposite, Joe Felix and Joel. 
lot of options you've got on the flanks. Are you expecting to have quite a few forward players playing ahead with those options coming in? No, well, yeah, it does. That's what I mean. Just, just, it's bad, isn't it? Just have one player become available, and all of a sudden, you know, it seems like we've got loads of different varieties now. And you know, we have got that. Um, I think. Like we've mentioned, a couple of the lads there that we we've got and recruited and, and done really well. So, yeah, um, we know we know about Liam. Liam knows about us. Um, I think it was a good fit last season. Um, I think he's going to be uh, a fitter version of Liam Vincent this year. Um, and yeah, we know that if we get Liam for a month playing at his his best, then that's what we'll be hoping to to get from him. Then we've we signed a really good player for the level, and uh, you know. I think that's what we've done with a lot of our signings that we've made.